Hi, today's class, we shall go with mitochondria. Mitochondria are double membrane bounded structure. The membrane of mitochondria is outer membrane, inner membrane made of phospholipid. So, mitochondrial membranes are phospholipid bilayer. Uh, so, in outer membrane and the inner membrane. In between, in the space, intermitochondrial space. So, outer membrane is somewhat more permeability, showing more permeability. But inner membrane is restricted permeability. And the intermitochondrial space, that is also made of like ECF. Actually, protons are uh, there for energy rich, uh, energy energetized protons are present there to produce ATP. Okay, so ATP is synthesized when protons pass through that ATP channel. That is ATP synthase enzyme. So ATP synthase is an enzyme. ATP synthase is a transporter. ATP synthase is a fifth complex protein complex it's a um, it's a it's a protein that is uh, making atp that is phosphorylation of ATP, adp plus inorganic phosphate that is occurring in that uh, channel protein area okay so that is mitochondria so mitochondria uh, ha is a semi autonomous granule normally we say because uh, it has uh, 70s ribosome and uh, single circular uh, double stranded dna like prokaryotic organization prokaryotes also have single double stranded circular dna genomic dna of, pro of prokaryotes uh, is similar with mitochondrial dna and the chloroplast dna and uh, um, next uh, mitochondrial uh, ribosome is 70s so mitochondria is capable of synthesizing most of the enzymes through its own dna so mitochondrial dna regulates mitochondrial dna regulates synthesis of mitochondrial proteins so genomic dna the the particular cell that is genomic dna genomic dna also regulates synthesis of some proteins for mitochondria and mitochondrial enzyme also mitochondrial dna also regulate the synthesis of enzyme so it is thought that it was like a prokaryotic structure uh, during evolutionary process it was in association with uh, that molecular assembly to form a particular cell structure okay so that is uh, with the protocell this mitochondria as well as chloroplast taken into that by that it make that plant cell but in animal cell only mitochondrial structure uh, has that prokaryotic uh, resemblance so the dna of mitochondria is like bacterial dna dna and ribosome of mitochondria is like bacterial ribosome so it's thought that mitochondria is a semi autonomous granule so structure we shall discuss so mitochondria is normally stained by Janus green. Janus green is a basic stain that is uh, doing that uh, coloring of mitochondria. And mitochondria are the sites of aerobic respiration because uh, here uh, glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm. So that the end product of uh, glucose uh, uh, metabolism in glycolysis is pyruvic acid so this pyruvic acid from cytoplasm enters into mitochondrial matrix according to NCRT okay so this mitochondria is a site of aerobic respiration because oxygen is utilized in mitochondrial matrix only oxygen is the terminal proton acceptor and also electron is reaching by that water is produced six molecules of water is produced by oxygen okay so that oxygen is needed for formation of water molecules so the proton is accepted by oxygen that is how water is formed okay so here that is aerobic respiration and the cellular energy uh, or powerhouse of the cell is mitochondria 
So mitochondria is a provider of cellular energy. And next, electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation that is generation of ATP using energy from oxidation of food. So here food is oxidized, uh, glucose is uh, oxidized glucose is oxidized to co2 glucose is oxidized to co2 so six molecules of co2 formation is uh, formation occur okay so here this oxidative phosphorylation means the nadh2 nadh2 h plus plus h plus okay so these molecules get oxidized and protons are released protons are released so nad is regenerated nad is regenerated na plus so this uh, protons are used to for uh, synthesis of atp so through atpase this protons uh, not only atpase uh, certain complexes complex 1 complex 2 complex 3 complex 4 complex 5 is atpase so this atpase with that protons uh, generate atp so this is oxidative phosphorylation. So this oxidation is helpful for the phosphorylation of ADP. ADP that is inorganic phosphate, phosphorylation. So that is oxidative phosphorylation and the generation of ATP using energy from oxidation of food. If we consider the structure of mitochondria, it shows outer membrane, inner membrane. Inner membrane has foldings that foldings to increase the surface area to hold more enzymes for uh, this uh, generation of energy okay so that is uh, how that uh, cristae cristae has and also ribosomes are present in the matrix of mitochondria that is 70s ribosomes and the matrix also contains enzymes for protein synthesis lipid synthesis and the krebs cycle important ncrt point so um, uh, important for meter important for meter so mitochondrial matrix contain enzymes for protein synthesis lipid synthesis and the krebs cycle so this appears this matrix appears it's a homogeneous viscous fluid in that we could find single circular dna so this is that dna single circular dna rna also there ribosomes are there so this makes that protein synthesis machinery and here uh, biochemically mitochondrial uh, intermembrane space is similar to cytosol because cytosol uh, means it contains water uh, plus inorganic organic ions everything yeah, even glucose as well as amino acids are present so like that this intermembrane space it's not just a space so this space is that is um, somewhat fluid okay jelly like so protons hydrogen ions are pumped out from matrix into it during electron transport system so from matrix into this uh, intermembrane space here the protons are pumped out so here proton concentration is more proton concentration is more uh, that is uh, during uh, in this uh, electron transport chain okay so this is the structure of mitochondria and the mitochondria size is uh, shape is sausage shape cylindrical length 14.1 to 4 uh, uh, to micrometer 1 to 4 micrometer and with this 0 0.2 uh, 1 micrometer okay so here 1 to 4 micrometer mitochondria and that is the uh, structure of mitochondria okay size of mitochondria is 1 to 4.1 micrometer size of mitochondria is 1 to 4.1 micrometer with this ranges between 0 0.2 to 1 micrometer so this is about the structure of mitochondria.